Hi y'all, welcome back to my workshop. If you've been over to my Facebook page, you may have seen a sneak peek of today's project. And it's my new workshop sign. But before we get to that, I want to thank everybody for subscribing to my YouTube channel. I think I'm up over 1180 subscribers. And that's awesome. I've also started a new website over at thecarmichaelworkshop.com. So head on over there and check that out. If you've seen my videos before, you may have noticed I made some changes on this wall of my workshop. I finally got around to putting up some pegboard that's been laying around the shop for a year, and I'm just trying to get a little more organized. Alright, let's take a look at my new sign. I cut out the letters and the saw blade with my Craftsman 13 inch scroll saw from the 80's. It worked pretty well, and I glued all that onto a quarter inch piece of plywood. So let's take a look at how I did it, and maybe you can create your own sign. I printed my logo out using Microsoft Word and attached it to the board using spray adhesive, being sure to line up the wood grain. I cut the board down into smaller manageable pieces, then cut out each letter using my scroll saw. It takes some practice to cut closely along the lines and round curves, but after some practice you get a feel for how to make the blade cut where you want it to. For the interior cuts, such as uh, holes in the letters O, E, and P, I drilled a starter hole where I could insert the blade to begin the cut. It took me about two hours total time to cut all of the pieces for the sign. After deciding on a shape for the backer board, I cut that out on my bandsaw. I sanded it smooth and then used some blue tape to mask off a border around the edges and then I just spray painted it with some flat black spray paint. That border was really easy to create and it really adds a nice design element to the sign. As long as you don't use too much spray adhesive, your template should peel off pretty easily. If it doesn't, you can always rub some mineral spirits on it and that will help get the template off. The scroll saw cut pretty smoothly, so I didn't have to sand that much. Uh, just a little hand sanding on the edges to get the little fuzzies off. To make sure each piece was glued in the correct location, I taped my template onto the back of board and traced the letters with a pencil. This made some faint lines appear in the flat black painted surface, and it helped a lot with getting everything glued in the right place. Now for the fun part. I used wood glue to glue each piece onto the backer board. I wasn't sure if wood glue would bond well to the paint, but I did a test piece and it holds really well. I think this is the first time I've ever seen the top of my head. <laughs> I attached two small eye screws to the sign and then I just hung it up on my pegboard using a couple of the pegboard hooks. Thanks for watching and don't forget to head over to thecarmichaelworkshop.com where you'll find links to my Facebook, Twitter, Lumberjocks, and my YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed, please click that subscribe button, and I will see you next time.